Okay, so here in question eight, state the state the x-intercept and the y-intercept of the equations. <clears throat> well, you know, to be honest, I would be keeping, if I was you, I would be keeping a graph or two handy just to help me with this, okay? And I would just act as if I was going to graph the thing anyway, because you've already learned how to do that, and you might as well just keep going with the same method. So. To be honest, if I was doing this, I would just do this. I would go x, y, and then I would go x is 0, y is 0. See? Same method that we use for the other ones. And then I would actually calculate each intercept. And then I just use a graph just to make sure I was labeling which one was the x intercept and which one was the y. Otherwise, you're just remembering that the x intercept is always when y is 0, and the y intercept is always when x is 0. But you know, you're not really knowing or understand or knowing that, so making sure, okay? So that's how I would do it. So um, just make a wee table like that, and just the same as if you were about to graph it. And when x is zero, you plug um, plug that in for x in this equation, right? So you're gonna have y equals three times zero minus 12 and you just calculate that. What does that give you? y equals 0 minus 12 or y equals negative 12, right? So this is telling us when x is 0, y calculates to be negative 12 for this equation, right? And then to calculate the, the other one, the other intercept, that's when y is 0, okay? And so you plug 0 in for y. How would you plug 0 in for y in that equation? Well, y is 0, so you go 0 equals 3 times x minus 12. You plug 0 in for y. And so on the left hand side of the equation, we have 0. Okay? And then solve that. Remember, the equal sign is here. So that is the center of your equation or your scales balance, okay? You're adding things to either side of this, you're subtracting from either side, you know. A lot of people get confused with uh, the equal sign and a negative and a subtract sign, okay? Don't do that, you'll get the answer wrong. So the equal sign is there, now we gotta get x by itself. x has been multiplied by 3 and then 12 is being subtracted. How would you undo subtracting 12? What would be the opposite operation to subtracting 12? How about adding 12, right, to both sides? If you add 12 to both sides, we get 12 equals 3x, right? Now x has been multiplied by 3. How do you undo multiplying by 3? Divide by 3 on both sides. So we get 4 equals x, right? So x is 4. What does that mean? It means we started out on this little equation that we said that y is 0. We plug 0 in for y, and when y was 0, we found that x is 4. So for this equation, for this equation here, when the y value is 0, the x value is 4, okay? And which, now we have to say, state the x-intercept and the y-intercept, which is which, okay? And that's why I like to keep the um, little graph handy, okay? This is the x-axis, that's the y-axis, isn't it? Where would 0, negative 12 be anyway on the, on the graph? x is 0, y is negative 12, that would be all the way down here, okay? Wouldn't it? So that point would be on which axis, right? And where would 4, 0 be? x is 4, y is 0, where is that? x is 4, y is 0, wouldn't that be that point there, right? So now you tell me which is which. Which is the x-intercept and which is the y? Because if you were to draw this line, you would just draw a line through these points, wouldn't you? That would be your line, right? But which is the x-intercept and which is the y-intercept? Well, this point is on the x-axis. That has to be the x-intercept. <laughs> this point is on the y-axis. That has to be the y-intercept, right? Does it? 
So, which is which? Well, 0, negative 12, I guess that is the um, y intercept. And 4, 0, I guess that is the x intercept. 